Hello, I'm Miss Connolly, and I'm going to be talking you through another experiment that you can try at home. What we're going to be looking at is, is green really green? And what you're going to need is some kitchen roll, you're going to need a green felt tip pen, a glass and some scissors. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut your kitchen roll into a strip that is just about the same height as your glass. Then fill your glass with about a centimetre of water, no more. On your kitchen roll strip, take your green pen and draw a nice big blob of green ink two centimetres up from the bottom. Just like that. And what you need to do is place it into the water, making sure that the water doesn't touch your green blob. And when you put it in, you should see that water starts to move up the tissue paper, just like how water moves up plants and trees. As it reaches the green dot, it will start to dissolve the green ink. And you should see that the colours that actually make up green ink will start to separate. Because the different colours travel at different speeds, they will travel different distances up the tissue paper and we should be able to see two different colours that make up the green ink. Oh. So I've left that for a few minutes and as you can see the green ink is separated so that we can now see yellow at the bottom and at the top you should be able to see some blue. That shows us that green ink is made from yellow and blue ink. Earlier on today I tried these three colours here and you can see that they gave even more colours when they separated out. What we'd like you to do is try this experiment with all the different coloured felt tips that you've got at home, take a photo and then send it to us on Twitter at Birchall High School and make sure you tag the science department so we can see what you've created at home. See you soon, bye!